Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Me and Izzy back at it again, knocking these videos down. Now, today is a beautiful day to talk about Alexis Avila. Not to be confused with Alexi Treviso, but they have very similar circumstances. They both like to throw babies away. You know what I mean? It's like a side hustle. It's a side hobby of theirs. Now, we have Avila. Her case just went, just came and went, and we have Alexi getting ready to go to trial. Now, this is kind of like a roadmap to kind of tell us what might happen to Alexi. Now, what did I tell y'all? She's getting at least 15 years, right? What did Avila get? She didn't even get the baby out of here. The baby's alive. She got 16 years for attempted. Now, just same state, same area. Imagine what Alexi's about to get. Now, we don't know what type of lawyer power Alexi has. We don't know what type of lawyer power Avila had. But it's not looking good for either one of them. Now, we're going to go through Avila doing her whole testimony, her little, I was panicked, you know, her little situation. So let's hear what she has to say. As per usual, y'all, check out the Patreon for the exclusive content, the exclusive videos, the flames, and uh, go on my Instagram and follow me because it's free and I want, I want to have followers on Instagram. So check me out, hit me up, DM me. Anyways, let's get straight into this situation right here. She may look like a little sweetheart. She is not a little sweetheart. That face is just like, get, yeah. Don't smile. We're not smiling today. How old were you? I am 19 years old. How old were you in January of 2022? I'm 18 years old. And when is your birthday? December 22nd. In January of 2022, um, we've learned that you were in school at that time? Uh, yes. What grade were you in? I was a senior. Okay. Um, did you... Held back. Either held back or... Nah, she was 18. She held back. It's, al it's always the not-so-bright ones, y'all. I'm promising you. Don't have babies until you get a little bit more sense in the cranium. You feel me? Like, it's just not, it's not worth it. You start doing dumb shit like this. Involved in any school activities? Um, not my junior and senior year. No. What about prior to that? Yes. Um, in middle school, I was in band, and my eighth grade freshman and sophomore year of high school, I played softball. Okay. Why did you stop playing softball? Um, I was in a car accident, and I wasn't cleared to play until the end of junior season. Okay. Uh, around when was the end of junior season? Um, I say May, maybe May of April, May, April, May of 2021. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. Um, was was softball being played at school at that time? Yes. Okay. Had the pandemic affected sports at school? Yes. So did you return to playing softball after you got cleared? No. Why did you not return to um, I chose to work instead. So you had a job? <laughs> yes. What kind of work did you do? Um, I was a sales associate at a clothing company in Hops. Okay. Oh, she was a sales associate. Well, guess what? You are... You a what's a black is new purple associate now. You are you a prison associate. <laughs> no, orange is the new black associate. That's what you are. <laughs> Where did you live around this time? Um, in Hobbs. With who? My parents. So both your mom and your dad? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings that live with you? No. Do you have siblings? Yes, ma'am. How many of them do you have? Two. Brothers, sisters? Well, one of each. I have one brother and one sister. Do they have children? Yes. How many children do they have? Um, my brother has four, and my sister has two and one on the way. Okay. Um, and what's crazy about that is they, bo they both kept their kids. She has two and one, one on the way. 
Imagine she threw that one in the dumpster. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Figure it out. You have people in your family who have children. Like, prior to January of 2022, did you spend time with your family? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, now we're going to go and talk about January specifically, okay? okay. And we're going to start from around the 4th of January. Okay. We have learned in court that you did have a hospital visit. Yes. On January fourth. Uh, on Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. It was on Tuesday. Uh, yes. Okay. Why did you go to the hospital on Tuesday, January fourth? I was having back pain. Could you describe it's what all, that was? It's always that back pain. You know, I needed to poop. I had severe back pain. I, I was gaining 30 extra pounds, you know, that could be an indicator. Um, I was eating everything in sight. Like, nah, none of those things indicated you need to go to the hospital, you know, because your period done dried up. But nah, you need to go to the hospital to make sure. Okay. Got you. Now, I mean, it makes sense, right? You know, you don't have no period for months. You, you gain 30 pounds and, 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 and you have back pain, but you don't know. I mean, it's... It's believable, guys. Super believable. It's like um, kind of like a sharp pain to my muscles, um, kind of like a sharp twist to my muscles and bones. What part of your back? Um, my lower back, lower head. Okay. So is this pain that you were familiar with or was it unusual? No, I'm very familiar. Mm -hmm. Why? Sure. Um, it happens frequently, um, multiple times out of the week. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. What do you know? What the cause is? Um, the accident. Um, when I got in the accident, when we, I got a referral to sent to Odessa, um, and I got X-rays done, MRIs, um, and the doctor said that I had a. T a a crack in my bones on my L4 and my L5, and there was fluid in there. Okay. And, um, was your doctor a pediatrician? Okay, so her whole defense, bro, is that you didn't know you were pregnant up to that point because you had a car accident. Bro, the judge must be listening to this like, yeah, sure. Stop, stop the lie. Stop the cap. That. <laughs> yes. Maybe, I don't know, ladies, you tell me. Ladies, ladies only. Is it believable to to have baby pain, contractions, to, like, pain from an accident? I'm pretty sure some of, some of us have been in accidents before. It's nothing like that. I highly doubt that. You can't mistake that. So her whole thing is like, oh, I just thought it was pain from the accident, not me being fully blown pregnant. Okay. So when you went to the hospital on January 4th, it was no big surprise, was it? No. Okay. What did you tell the, the, the uh, professionals at the hospital? The thing that I just told you, um, I had lower back pain and that I got in a car accident. Okay. And what did they do? Um, they didn't do much when they did see me. Um, I, I believe only one doctor touched me. Um, and the other, he just leaned over the counter and just spoke to me. Okay. What else did they do? Um, that was about it. They just told me what not to do and what to do. What did they tell you not to do? Um, the doctor that released me, um, he said that I had some kind of strain. Um, I did, at the time, work with heavy boxes, lifting them, um, Bringing them down, putting them up, oh, vice versa. Okay. Now, about your work. So this is Tuesday, January 4th, we're talking about, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, when was the last day you'd gone to work before that date? Um, I believe Monday? I'm not sure. Okay. So Monday was January 3rd, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... On January 4th, did you get any prescriptions at that time? Yes, ma'am. And what happened? Um, they just sent me home and <laughs> told me to take it when needed. Yeah, I mean, 
that's the U.S. health healthcare system for you. I mean, if you're t- you walk in sometimes bent, you don't have the right insurance. They're the you know sometimes they'll just say, hey, eh, take some pills, go home, you'll be good. Like I've seen it happen. So we we do not have the best healthcare system in the world. I'll tell you that much, y'all. Like. Let's all go to Canada, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's go to Canada, y'all. To the to y'all Canadians, hit me up. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. It's a lot better, right? I think I was playing video games with one guy and he was like, yeah, you if you get an ambulance to the hospital, you don't even like pay for the ambulance. And I was like, what? Like, what did he say? Like, <laughs> out here, for all you non-Americans, you don't, you don't call the ambulance. You're fucked up, you drive your ass to the hospital or call it Uber. We not calling no ambulances. At least not in my family. <laughs> unless it's serious. Unless he is dying. Then we're calling the ambulance. You know what I mean? Going to pain or was it for something else? It was for the pain. Okay. So, did you take it? Yeah. Okay. Did you take it? Yeah. Okay. Did it what effect did it have on you? Um, not much. Um, not a lot of medication helps my back pain. Um, so it helped maybe 10 minutes, if that, and the rest of the day. Okay. Were you able to work on January 4th? Uh, no. So you did not go to work on that day? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, let's fast forward to your January 6th hospital visit. Now, before we get to January 6th, so you were a senior in high school, you say, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What else was going on in your life around that time? Um, nothing that I could recall. Um, she was getting piped out by her boyfriend, and she's not adding that part. I mean, she was feeling pregnancy um, and not telling anybody. Th- those things were happening, so... Getting ready for graduation, prom, senior stuff. Okay. What about college? Oh, yes, and college as well. What were you doing to get ready for college? Um, touring them, applying to them. Okay. What college were you most interested in? Um, Maybe Mary University. Objection to any course of inquiry that's not relevant. Uh, so that is the objection. I'm going to overrule it. It's background. All right, so they're they're like, man, we don't want to hear this background shit. And guess what? Neither do I. I want to see her get grilled by the prosecution. So, you know, softball questions for your girl, Avila. Yeah, I was touring college. Guess what? You're never going to tour college again, okay? College is out for you. Sorry. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Skipping. Go back to the... Yes, sir. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast forward, all that bullshit, whatever, whatever. Softball. Now prosecution's coming through. Now, think about this. It, this is woman to woman. She's on your side. And and we're conversing, you know? And it's that, you know, you're just comfortable. Now, now a man is going to come up here. Prosecution, aggressive as hell. Let's see how she holds her own. Now, keep in mind, she's just an 18-year-old. She panicked. She, just, she doesn't know better. So... This is a lose-lose in my eyes. If she responds very well and on her toes, then she ain't no young-minded idiot, so she knew what she was doing. And if she doesn't respond well, then you're still stupid and you're going to jail anyway. So let's see what happens. There's no winning to this. I'm sorry. And she admitted this shit in the interrogation room, off top. So there's no, what are we talking about? You know what I mean? This is just all for... For, for, what's the word? This is all to make it official. You know, because everybody knows. Lock away the key. I didn't know she was going to get no 16 years for a living baby. That was kind of crazy, but A, deserved. Well earned, well deserved. That's what I'll say. You deserve it and you earn it, guess what? You go, you'll get it. Ms. Avila, isn't it true uh, that this trial is not the first time? So is it your testimony that that you did not have a preliminary hearing in February of 2022? No, I didn't. 
And during that preliminary hearing, you do have a re recollection of that hearing happening, don't you? No, no, no sir, sorry. And you, uh, so is it your testimony that you have no recollection of the witnesses that provided information about what you did on January 7th? Correct. And so you have no recollection of the prior testimony of Detective Perez? Of today or of February? In February of 2022. Correct. And you're claiming before this jury that you have no recollection about the testimony of April Nuttall on February of 2022. That's correct. Well, guess what? We can refresh your memory, sweetheart. We got all day. Now, see, if I was a lawyer, I'd be a dickhead, bro. I'd keep you from your job. I'd keep you from your wife, your house. All you jury people staying here because we're going to go through all this shit until I get what I want. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to play this game. Everybody tries to play the I don't remember game. Well, guess what, sweetheart? It's all transcribed, which is why we transcribe things. And I feel like I got a splinter in my fingers somehow. But anyway, I got it. Yeah. Crazy, bro. I think that you have no recollection of the testimony of Michael Green in February of 2022. That's correct. And you're claiming that you have no recollection of the testimony of Hector Johnson. Overruled. Overruled, yes, ma'am, because we want to know where her mind is. Does she need to go to a mental facility? Because hey, we can go that route. Either way, is a shit existence. I would say go for the mental, uh, blah, blah, blah. go for the mental institution. That'll be even shittier for someone who doesn't need it. It's and it's your testimony that you have no recollection of the testimony of Jasso in February of 2022. That's correct. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but February 28th of 2022, that's over a month past when you threw your newborn baby into the dumpster, isn't it? Yes, sir. And you would be able to agree with me that you've been able to see video of you committing this crime in this case, haven't you? Yes. You, you see? see? That the video oh, hold on. I keep pausing playing. She's starting off in a hole, bro. There's no way. There's no way. You know what I mean? She's getting time. And they're just basically trying to blunt the force. Don't give her that much time, though. You know, just ch don't give her that much time. She doesn't deserve that much, you know? Nah, give her 25. That's what I say. She'll still get out. How old will she be? Like, almost 50? Give her 25. My math is way off. My math is crucially off. And guess what? I'm not even about to do it. I'm about to do it right now on my watch. 19 years old plus 25 years. She will be 44. Give her 25. Right now, she's uh, she got 16, I think, right? So, oh, I don't know how to work my own watch now. So, she's 19 at this point, plus 16 years. She get out at 35. Be a little 35-year-old. Hey, guess what, man? That's a second chance, because I would have gave her ass 25, bro. And I think that's more where Alexi Treviso, the other chick that we're doing, I think that's where she's heading. She's heading more to the 20 to 25 ranges. If this girl got 16 years, think about that, bro. 16 summers, 16 winters. Damn. That this jury saw is of you throwing your own newborn into a dumpster. You can confirm that the bag that you used to throw your newborn into the dumpster is contained in this evidence bag, can't you? I'm sorry, what's the question? The contents of this bag were used by you, as seen in the video, to throw your newborn into the dumpster. Isn't that true? That's the bag that was in the video. And that's because that was you committing this crime, wasn't it? Yes. Mm. And with regards to the baby newborn that was inside that trash bag, I'm showing the witness Exhibit 6. It was this baby, wasn't it? Yes, sir. He was your baby. I, I, I wouldn't know because I haven't seen him for like a year and change now. So who knows? Maybe. I mean, that looks like it. That's what she was going to say, bro. Shittiest mom of the year. Holy crap. Just nullify nullify her, her mom membership. You know what I mean? Take the If you got a tattoo, that needs to be removed. If the membership entails a, a fucking card, we need to cut that up. Your mommy membership is out of here. You feel me? Like that shit's wild. Like, nah. Is she a happy mother? Is that? No, nah, no. Nah. She ain't no mother. 
she's some crazy bitch in jail. That's who she is. Yeah. Whoa. Nah, can't. Wasn't me. Not, uh, non-acceptable. Just not acceptable. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll continue. You put him in a trash bag, didn't you? Hell yeah, you did. Uh, what was shown today? Yes. I'm showing the witness what's been entered into evidence. This is exhibit 18. This trash bag. Yes or no? Do you need me to step closer, ma'am, so that you can see exhibit 18? No, I can see. I was just waiting for the question. Uh, my question is, it was this trash bag, wasn't it? If that's the one that's in the back, then yes. I don't recall the back. Filled with all of these bits of garbage, wasn't it? I don't recall what was in it. Well, you have eyes, don't you? Yes. You can see the picture, can't you? Yes. Can you see the garbage inside of the bag? Yes. The bag that you put your newborn inside of on January 7th? Yes. Yeah, see, he's going to get that answer no matter what. That's signs of a good lawyer. Well, you have eyes, don't you? What does the picture say? That was taken that day. Do you see the fucking trash, the shit that the baby's swimming in? Did you put the baby in the, in the shit pool? Oh, okay, so I guess you do remember now, right? We're all on the same page. Like, my boy is top tier. This man you can't win an argument with. His wife, he's either single or his wife just... Listens to just listens to everything because Mr. Lawyer is not gonna lose. <laughs> He's not gonna lose that one. Let's talk a little bit about this blackout. <laughs> you claimed yeah. on direct examination that you blacked out. That that's your word, right? Yes. Blacked out. Uh, is that a term of art to you? A blackout? A term of art? Yes. I don't understand the term of art. Does blackout mean anything other than what an ordinary person would perceive it to mean as you're using it? I'm not understanding. Yeah, that was a shitty question. I'll, I'll rephrase it for you. Lawyer, lawyer fits right here. Does a blackout dim? I don't know. <laughs> the way you define blackout. How do you define that answers the question? Do you think everybody else would agree with that definition? Yes, no. I don't know, but the way he asked that shit was kind of shitty. I'm not going to lie. Blackout mean to you. Yep, see, there it is. What does blackout mean to you? What, man? Lawyer, lawyer in the building, bro. Get out of here. That's how you rephrase the question. Um, where I'm not in my body. Um, where I don't, I'm not... I'm there, but I'm not there. And you claimed on direct that it affected your ability to remember what you did on January 7th, don't you? Yes. And you claimed that you kind of blacked out was your testimony, is that right? Yes. And you claimed that you first kind of blacked out when you were informed that you were pregnant, didn't you? Yes. Now, oh! Nah, because that just is, it makes sense now. Now I'm on her side. I'm lying. She blacked out at all the important points when she knew she was pregnant. So, oh, I just kind of blacked, uh, uh, I blacked out and I forgot I was pregnant. <laughs> Bro, that is the craziest story I've heard in court in a while. Oh, so you're blacking out for all the important parts, huh? You just didn't know because you were just in the dark. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That's actually kind of clever. If 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 the jury bought that shit, I would have been like, you know what? Hey, I can't say nothing. They bought that shit. <laughs> Wild. Let's continue. This isn't the first time you've received information that you were pregnant, is it? When? Listen, that's not a hard question. This is not the first. It's not a hard question. Is it the first time or not? Let's walk through a, a little timeline. Hold on. Heard the See, I knew my senses were tingling, bro. My my camera is all, it's like always on full. So my shit ran out just now. I had to go and delete, delete, replay. But um, yeah, let's continue. I don't even know what I was saying, but she sucks. That's uh, pretty much the overall vibe right now. The testimony about your statements. In fact, you've seen the video of your statements to Detective Perez, haven't you? Yes. And so you were able to hear for yourself the positive pregnancy test that you got in August of 2021. Along with the negative. 
well, let's have my question answered first and then we'll move on to the negative. You affirm that you received a positive pregnancy test in August of 2021, didn't you? Yes. And that's because you did receive a positive pregnancy Yeah, cut her off. Yeah, that's because you did. See, these are good lawyers, bro. You they, they straddle the line before being corrected. And hey, that's how you win shit. And it seems like her lawyer did not coach her well enough because she's out here losing. But at the same time, you have so much in the you're in the hole so deep already. All you're praying for five years. You're praying for ten years. You know what I mean? You're praying for seven years. That would be a good ass day. She got sixteen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pregnancy test in twenty twenty one, didn't you? I'm sorry, say that again. And that's because you did receive a positive pregnancy test in August of twenty twenty one, didn't you? Not even looking at it. Positive her. pregnancy test. That means that you are pregnant, right? Yes. And when you receive that information, can can you explain to the jury about your blackout at that point in time? <laughs> Yeah, that's where I was at. That's where I was at before my camera died. The blackouts. The most convenient times to blackout. This chick is blacking out every time. Be you're pre- She's just out. Uh, 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 I'm back. Oh, by the way, you're pre- <gasps> Just knocked out again. That's that's her. The word pre- Just knocks her ass out. Say pregnant around her. I bet you she'll black out. I bet you. I was a teenager. That's because you didn't black out, did you? Smiling. Look at that smile. That's that. That's not a real smile. That's frustration. Because we got you in a fucking corner. Look at that shit. About your blackout at that point in time? I was a teenager. That's because you didn't black out, did you? Of the first one with the, with the positive and negative? Correct. In August of 2021. No. Because there was also a negative. Well, when we're talking about the positive and the negative test, did you take these tests at an exactly simultaneous time? I don't remember. That's because you didn't take two different pregnancy tests at the exact same time, did you? I don't remember. Well, we're all fresh. Two exact outcomes at the exact same time, did you? I don't remember. When it comes to, to blacking out, you blacked out in reference to what we can all see on the video, is that right? I'm sorry? You blacked out the experience that we can all see on the video, is that right? Yes. But you didn't black out receiving the exact same information at an earlier time, isn't that right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I don't know if her, her answers are so candid because she feels like she's about to win this, but sweetheart, first of all, you do not have the charm you know what I mean? You do not have the the appeal. You don't have none of that shit to make people feel sorry for you. You up here feeling like you're just going to answer these questions and your lawyer got you. That little 20 grand you gave that lawyer is not going to help this out. You need at least 100, bro. You need 100 grand to start feeling a little bit more at ease about your sentence. You know what I mean? Shit, that $20,000 lawyer is not going to do shit for you. Now, with reference to August of 2021 that was not the first time that you received information that you were pregnant was it i'm sorry that oh. was not the first time that you received information that you were pregnant was it it was in fact you i love how he just lets her lie and continues because he knows the jury sees through this shit and he's like oh beautiful keep on lying to me baby keep on telling me those sweet lies because at the end of the day she's looking crazy in front of everybody right now spoke with other people about the fact that you were pregnant as early as April of 2021. Is that not true? I, no, I don't remember. So you're no. denying? Yes, because I don't remember. Okay. We'll take that you don't remember talking about being pregnant of 2021. You've heard the statement that you made on a recorded video. Uh, is that correct during the course of this uh, trial? It was a recorded statement between you and Detective Perez, wasn't it? Yes. And in that recorded statement, you were advised of your rights. Is that right? Uh, from what I seen in the video, yes. From what I you seen in the video, girl, it's been a few years. Stop with the cap. You remember all that shit. That's just crazy. Your rights not I was just a teenager, remember? So I just, you know, I black out and, you know, 
I just didn't remember when they told me I was. <laughs> Not all at once, but one at a time, weren't you? From what I see in the video, yes. And you were able to confirm your waiver of your rights one at a time, weren't you? From what I see in the video, yes. You were oh, they, they, they. They're like, hey, baby girl, when you don't know what to say, that's the only thing they coached her on. They're like, when you don't know what to say, I don't remember. And if the evidence shows it, just say, if the evidence says that, then yes. They coach this girl to just take her L, basically. I mean, take your L. You admit everything so early. So it's like she fucked up from the start. Uh, observe yourself receive a piece of paper from Detective Perez that contained those rights that you were read one at a time, didn't you? From what I've seen in the video, yes. You were able to see that at some point you were able to get a, a pen in your hand, uh, didn't you? From what I've seen in the video, yes. <laughs> Are you left-handed or, or right-handed? Or right-handed, right for sure. Wh which hand? Oh. <laughs> or have you forgot? Oh, he's spicy. He's a spicy one, ain't he? At some point you were able to get a, a pen in your hand, uh, didn't you? From what I see in the video, yes. Are you left-handed or, or right-handed, or, or have you forgotten? Wh which hand? Oh, I'm right-handed. Oh, I'm right-handed. Right <laughs> oh, with the attitude. I love how she thinks she's, like, gonna walk away from this shit. I promise you she's thinking, oh, I'm gonna be back here for a year. I already been back here for a minute. I might get time served. Fuck this guy. That's the whole vibe she's giving off right now. She's like, fuck that guy. You know what? I spent a year already. I'm comfortable. My lawyer's going to get me out under five. I'll be okay. Not knowing that she's going to be 35 when she actually gets out. Think about that shit. You're 19 and you're getting out of jail at 35. Woo! I know how I'd be feeling. See, you take your right hand with a pen, an initial next to each and every one of those rights, weren't you? From what I see in the video, yes. And you were able to hear yourself talk about exactly what happened at the McKenzie uh, out house and address on January 7th, weren't you? From what I can see in the video, yes. And you were able to hear your own words, your own description about where the birth happened, is that right? From what I can see in the video, yes. About where you put the baby after he was born. From what I can see in the video, yes. Right? From the video, yes. From what I can see in the video, yes. About putting him inside a plastic bag, right? From what I can see in the video, yes. From the video, yes. <laughs> in fact, you were even able to describe a loosely fitting hair tie that probably <coughs> came off while you were manipulating. Hey, well that wasn't in the video, so I want to see how she responds this to this one. You can't see no hair tie. This plastic bag that had your newborn baby inside of it. She or sucks. And you were able to hear yourself describe putting this bag with your baby inside of it, inside of your car, weren't you? From the video, yes. Now, you didn't get in any car accidents on January 7th, did you? Not that I know. And you did drive your vehicle, didn't you? Yes. You were behind the steering wheel of your vehicle, weren't you? Yes. Is this a, a key ignition on your vehicle? Uh, yes. You know uh, she don't got the push to start. She's too broke for that shit, bro. Of course she has a key in the ignition type of car. She's too broke for that shit. She's driving like the 2009 boys. There ain't nothing wrong with the 2009s either, but come on now. Straight out of high school, fucking on her boyfriend, throwing babies in trash cans. Like, yeah, no, nah, she's not driving the push to start. Where are your keys that day? Um, like in the house? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, where do you usually keep? It varies, either behind the door, hanging up, on the counter, on the... The one thing I'm saying is, though, her boyfriend had to know she was pregnant, right? Like, it's like she had the baby, so it was nine months. Nine months later, he didn't know, and now he has custody of the baby. That's what I heard. I didn't look it up. But it's kind of like, damn, now the father has custody? I don't know how I feel about that one. But, yeah, you know? Maybe he just thought she wasn't going to throw this shit away. Like, that's crazy. So maybe he was just like, ah, she'll get over it. She's talking crazy. Man, she tossed it. A coffee table in my room, whichever. Did you need your keys in order to start your vehicle that day? Yes. Uh, did yes. you just happen to have your keys on you after your baby was born? <laughs> no. But you were able to take your keys and start your vehicle, weren't you? 
Yes. Uh, and that's because you're able to see on the video yourself driving and operating your vehicle, weren't you? Yes. Now, yeah, you know, because according to the video, yes. According to the video, yes, you know, so we have to make sure it's on video because this, this chick doesn't know shit. To get from the McKenzie address to the mall. And she's blacking out when she hears news about being pregnant. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. She just blacking out every time she gets tested for a baby. Oh, pee in the cup. Okay. Oh, by the way, you're pregnant. Blackout. <laughs> That's okay. This isn't just, you know, a, a quarter mile speed track where you don't have to make your any turns, is it? It's just one turn. It's or one two, turn. Two. Two turns. Approximately a mile away, isn't it? Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell you. You've heard the testimony that it's several blocks away, though, haven't you? Uh, yes. Do you have any reason to disagree that this is a few blocks away? I mean, fuck. Yes. What? Oh, she has reasons to disagree. Well, let's pull out a map. I don't know why they're not pulling out more evidence, but I guess it's just so not worth it because she's going to jail anyway. They just don't care. They're like, you know what? Sh fuck it. She don't know. Okay, well, guess what, sweetheart? It was. Oh, you do? Okay, so tell us, what, what, what's the basis for disagreement that your house is a few blocks away? Everybody has their different opinion on what a few blocks away is. Oh, God. Okay, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. Uh, but it's not a few. Okay, a few is what? A couple is two, and a few is three or more, right? I'd say three to five. Okay, five blocks. Uh, if, if your few is like ten blocks or more, then you're just a stupid person. So what are we like? Damn, bro. She... And she's snappy to the to the uh, prosecution too. I thought she was gonna be more she put on the face, you know, the little face of timidness. Nah, she's snappy. She's in the right. Stop playing with her. Get off her back. She threw it in the trash. It survived, didn't it? Shit. What's going on? <laughs> it's not right next to your house, is it? No. You had to drive on a road in order to get to the dumpster, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you're like a dummy yeah, dog. Drive on the road everywhere, so yes. Of course. Of course. of course. And there's other vehicles that drive on the roads, aren't there? Yes. Pedestrians walking on sidewalks. <laughs> Not where I live, but yes. Pedestrians crossing streets. Not Not where she where lives. Live, but yes. And you didn't hit any pedestrians or run into any cars, did you? Not that I'm aware of. And you were actually able to navigate from your house to the dumpster, weren't you? Yes. And oh my god, we finally got there. We made it. We made it from the house to the dumpster. That's how long it took, y'all. We made it. We've arrived. We've got her to admit that. Even though she said it in her fucking interview 15 times. But we made it there. Now what happened after that? the bag that your newborn child was inside of, with no apparent problems, as you can see in the video. Is that right? Correct. According and to the video. you were able to navigate space inside of that dumpster that you were able to throw your newborn baby inside of, weren't you? No, it's not like I calculated the length of the dumpster, no. No, no, you didn't calculate shit. You just needed it to land there. Toss that fucker in there. Who cares if it lands on razor blades and, and sharp pieces of iron? Nah, just toss him. He's trash, right? We're throwing it away, right? What are we doing? Toss that shit. This, the big old hole on top of the dumpster, did you? From what I see in the video now. Mm. You, you made putting your newborn into the dumpster. You didn't miss, did you? From what I see in the video now. And that's because you were able to get your newborn inside those bags into the dumpster, weren't you? I'm sorry? You were able to get your newborn baby into that dumpster, weren't you? From what I see in the video, yes. And you were able to turn around just before your baby makes impact with the garbage in that dumpster before getting into your vehicle, weren't you? From what I the That's crazy. It's crazy how she tossed that motherfucker and turned all while it's in the air. You don't want to know the outcome. You don't want to know none of that. Just toss. We out. Skirt. Back to life. What you doing, baby? You want me to come through? You playing Madden? Okay, I'm coming over. <laughs> and you were able to observe yourself driving away from the dumpster, weren't you? From what I see in the video, yes. And when you're looking at the video of you driving away from the crime scene, 
of you throwing your newborn baby into that dumpster, you didn't hit any walls on your way out, did you? I get where he's going with this. He's saying that you weren't blacking out in this entire situation. You didn't run over pedestrians. You didn't do none of this shit, right? So you were a full mind. You were fully cognizant while you're doing this shit. You understood what you're doing. I'm pretty sure that's where he's ending off with. Let's see. You didn't veer at all one way to the left, one way to the right while operating your vehicle, did you? Not that I remember. And it's your testimony that you were able to do all of this while blacked out. Is that right? Yes. Ooh, that's where we're going to stop it, boys. We're going to come back, boys and girls. That was crazy. We're going to back that up one more time. And it's your testimony that you were able to do all of this while blacked out. Is that right? Yes. The closest thing I've ever heard to someone doing that ever is sleepwalking. And that's a whole different category from blacking out. When you black out you start doing things and you don't remember, right? But what she's talking about isn't is impossible. Like, you're going to, oh, you, so you drove your car and started indicating? Well, let's not even assume she knows how to use her indicators. But she started driving the car and turned and entered and threw baby and entered car again and went back home. You're not blacked out, sweetheart. You're just an idiot who came out with a shitty-ass explanation. But anyways, y'all, that was, um, this is the first examination of, What's her name? Alexis Avila? You know, real shithead right here. Shit for brains. Very, um, very bird-like. But we're going to continue with this. It's a, it's actually quite entertaining because, like, you know, at least the baby's alive. So we could just make fun of it. But if you guys enjoyed it, of course, check out the Patreon. Exclusive videos, all that good shit. I just dropped one a few days ago. Check out my Instagram. I love you guys. Stay safe. Don't create children like this, please. Like, keep an eye on your kids. Shit. And don't go to New Mexico because they're doing weird shit down there. But anyways, I'm out, people.